Hey, I'm going to do a homestead hack today and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make baby savers and urine guards for my rabbit cages because I got baby bunnies due next week. These cages are inadequate. Stay tuned. Welcome to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Like I mentioned in the bumper, these cages are inadequate for my rabbits to kindle babies. Because of the large space of wiring we have, she had, you know, if she chooses to have her babies on the cage, wire cage floor, they could crawl out and fall through those big side wires. So we're gonna fabricate some baby saver guards, bumper guards, if you will. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. It's a homestead hack. First, I need a work surface. I got this DeWalt work table my wife purchased for me for Christmas this year. Awesome gift, look how easy it is to put together. Yeah, that's it. And the tools I'm gonna to use is my DeWalt drill impact uh, utility tool that my wife purchased for me again for Christmas. And then I got some DeWalt drill bits that fits this and for this project i'm going to need some size uh, side cutters a tape measure a utility knife a square and a piece of angle iron that is long enough to be able to make some cuts the main material i'll be using is a roll of this eight inch wide metal, sheet metal. I purchased this from the, well actually I got this for free. It came from uh, the mobile home and it was it ran across the top of the ridge there just under the eaves and uh, created more of a drip guard for the uh, awning when we purchased the mobile home and put the awning together. But this was left over, but I found these also in rolls you can purchase at your local hardware store. I believe they come in 10 foot lengths, if not longer, maybe 25, maybe even 50, I don't know. I just happen to have this, play, this in my resource pile. So I'm going to make a baby guards and I'm gonna do it simply. We're gonna roll this out and we're gonna be able to get three pieces out of one length. Now my cage, inside dimensions of the cage is 30 inches by 30 inches. So all my lengths are gonna be 30 inches and there's at least three cages because I have three pregnant does that will be kindling uh, a week from today. So I'll go ahead and measure out 30 inches and I'm gonna mark it with a utility knife. I'm gonna use the square to scribe a line into this and make sure this square is square. Okay. And we want it just slightly smaller than exactly 30 inches. So you just scribe your line and it doesn't hurt to go over that same scribe a couple of different times. Okay, now we clear these two out of the way and we pull this to the end of the table. I'm gonna line my scribe up right to the edge of the table here. Put the square on and hold it, putting pressure on it, holding it down. We're now gonna make the bend. And you've got a nice, clean, straight cut. Now, this is too, long, uh, too wide, eight inches. So I'm gonna divide this by three. Now done with this one for now. I'm gonna set this aside. So 
eight inches. It's just an eighth of an inch shy of eight inches. So divided equally in three parts, it's going to come out to, to be two and five eighths inch. So we're going to go ahead and mark it out and scribe it. There's two and five eighths. There's two and five eighths. And I'm doing the same with the other side. Two and five eighths. And two and Five eighths. Okay, we're done with the tape measure. We're going to set that aside. I'm going to set the T square aside for right now because I don't need it. That's where this longer angle iron comes in handy. See how much longer it is? Yeah, 30 inches. So we're going ahead and run this, line it up with our two scribe marks. You guys get the hang of it. That shifted on me, but that's okay. Okay. And we do the other scribe mark. Now, just like before, we're going to set this on the edge of the table. We're going to bend it until it breaks. Yep, that's how I cut metal with a utility knife. Might be handy if I had clamps on this. right here. Turn it that way and Okay, now that we got the fold started, I'm gonna try to fold it all the way. So the material will go ahead and start breaking all the way down. Once you start hearing that crackle, you know you got the break going. And since it's success, you managed to cut it. So these are, this is how wide they're going to be. 
Now I have four pieces to go all the way around the cage. I need to tap two holes in them and that's where the drill comes into place. I'm gonna select a suitable size drill because I'm using this baling wire or it's a um, hot wire fencing material and we're going to go ahead and drill holes just two is all we need we'll drill one right here and we'll drill another set right here I'm loving the DeWalt and the simplicity with uh, changing bits. So handy. Thanks, DeWalt. So now I've got my baby guards. Now I've got to fix them into there. So I'm going to cut a short, maybe two inch piece of wire and I decided I'm going to need some needle new needle nose pliers as well so I've got to get this started in a loop both of them and then we put them in Okay, design on the fly. I'm gonna draw. Um, I'm gonna drill another hole lower. On both of them. Okay, I cut a piece of wire, shaped it like that. Let's see if it's gonna work for me. All right, this is working, and I just twist them. Okay, now you get the idea with a building and fabricating your own baby guards. Uh, in a way of a jerry rig homestead hack. Yes. Please stay tuned to more videos for uh, imaginative ideas I come up with and see if you guys can improve. I think I just imagined something else I can do a little bit differently and that was just uh, punch a little slit 
you know, towards the top and get one of those J clips, like what the cage is put together with, and just J clip those in there. That should uh, that should make the process go a lot quicker. So I'll follow up with an update video on that and see how it works out because I've got nine cages to make for these. Uh, Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Uh, so click that share button, sharing my videos on your social media platforms really helps me out a lot. Also, like I said, share your thoughts in the comments and get back with me on those. And yeah, kind of feel that out. Uh, if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe and click that bell icon that alerts you to the new videos as I do upload them. Hey you'll get alerted to the new video on what I showed you on the update on the cage. So please be safe and always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. I gotta put my tools away. It's cold because the sun's going down. Bye-bye.